From Houston, also known as Space City, to Florida's Space Coast, KPRC2 has been committed to covering all the space milestones for decades, and the Artemis mission is no different. And the big Artemis update tonight, NASA has announced the next launch date. Yeah. KPRC2's Taisha Walker live at Kennedy Space Center. And Taisha, we could restart the countdown. Yeah. That's right. That countdown will be restarted on Saturday. NASA within the last hour just announced that they plan to do a take two to try to launch their SLS uh, space rocket on Saturday at 1:17 p.m. Houston time. This comes after their inaugural uh, launch of the rocket failed yesterday morning due to several challenges, including an engine issue. The engine was not taking to a super cold propellant used to prepare it for liftoff. So NASA's engineers for the last day have been analyzing data regarding that engine number three and says that it likely could have been attributed to an unreliable sensor since they could not figure out why the engine performed differently than when it did during wet dress attempts. Moving forward, NASA says they plan to change the loading procedures and start the chill down process earlier to do work at the pad to address leaks and to move the launch date to this Saturday at 1 17 p.m. Houston time. And lastly, they say they will reconvene on Thursday just to go over those plans. Uh, back here live, NASA, NASA officials say they also expect some rain and possible sun, uh, thunderstorms here off the coast of Florida on Saturday, but they say to their advantage, they do have a two hour window with that launch. They say if they for some reason have to scrub that second attempt on Saturday due to weather conditions. They will shoot for a third attempt 48 hours later. That's the latest from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Taisha Walker, KPRC, right. 2 News.